All right, today I saw a truly awesome clip pop up in my Twitter feed. Now, uh, I don't know who filmed the original. The first form I saw of it was from an account called Noah that's linked down below if he's the original. Uh, credit to them. They did a great job of, of getting this out here because I absolutely love, love, love this clip. I'm going to let it play through uninterrupted so you guys can check it out in its full context. But if you guys are new to the channel, you don't know uh, what I'm about. Uh, I'm a huge prequel era fan. It's it's Star Wars to me, right? Um, it's what I grew up on. Revenge of the Sith is easily my favorite Star Wars movie. Absolutely adore the Clone Wars animated series as well. It's it's my era. It's what makes me um, the happiest. It's what feels the most Star Wars to me. And of course, it's different for all of us. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out this awesome clip. For a little context, uh, Ewan McGregor is talking to uh, one of the reporters on the Berlin press tour. And he seems to start off by asking, uh, you know, how old that reporter is when the, the prequels came out so he can kind of gauge uh, if he was the target audience for those films. So without further ado, let's uh, check it out and I'll give you guys my thoughts after. Because I guess you were a kid when they came, when our films came I out. Was, yeah. You're right. So we sort of made them for you. And it was, it was, it was an odd experience for, to make those movies. You know, like Moses says, like when, when you when you step into this world, it's a big deal. It's like scary. And then and then those films were critically not liked very much or they were they weren't written very nicely about, you know, by the critics. But what did what we didn't hear at the time was people your age, that that your generation. We now meet those people now who really love our films, you know. Yeah. But it's taken us like it's taken us 15 years to hear that, you know, <laughs> and it's so nice. It's really nice. It's, it's changed my outlook on, on my relationship with Star Wars. It's different because of that, I think. Because um, we put our heart and soul into them, and they were difficult to make because they were, you know, they were all, the second one, the third one, there was so much green screen and blue screen because George was, was pushing into this new realm that he had designed, that he, right. he was responsible for ILM, and he wanted to... He wanted to max out that technology, but that meant for us that we were very much on blue screens and green screens, and that it was it was hard work. And to do that and be passionate about it, and then for the films not to be very well received was was really tough. So it's really lovely to have this new relationship with them now, and I'm glad that uh, and then and watching them again. I hadn't seen them since they came out. You know, what in preparation for this show to watch them again was yeah. really cool. I like them, you know. I like them. Our episode three is really good. It's a really good movie, and it's a, it's, it's a phenomenal film. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> non-stop action. Yeah, yeah. that's the high ground. I, I, I had the high ground. Yeah. Yeah. Not anymore. Not right? anymore. Maybe. <laughs> on the well, picture. On the picture. Yeah, on the picture. No, 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 I'm still, still looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> He's checking on it too. Well. <laughs> But I would like a dollar for every time someone's told me I had the high ground. So, that would be nice. <laughs> so I absolutely love this clip for so many reasons. First and foremost, the fact that these actors have, you know, been now hearing the love that we have for these projects is amazing. Because I think one of the hardest things for me, especially in the case of Hayden Christensen, is that, you know, there was a lot of us out there who love these films. And even though the predominant uh, opinion at that time by most of uh, the critics and a lot of the older fans was that those movies were were bad to me they meant a lot right they're why i'm here today talking to you guys right um they're a huge part of that and so the fact that they can now hear that and and feel that love i think is so awesome and you hear in there where uh ewan talks about how it's changed his relationship with Star Wars, uh, which to me implies that it wasn't good. You know, he looked back on those prequels as a challenge and really a bad um, situation where they spent a lot of time, put a lot of hard work in, and were ripped for those films. And so now, 15 years later, the fact that they're both here and around to hear the love for those, um, I think is so, so awesome. I hope George uh, Lucas hears it as well. And, you know, part two of that is I love to hear them talk about Revenge of the Sith, where Hayden Christensen jumps in and is like, that's a phenomenal film, right? Because it is to me, right? It is. I understand it's all subjective, but to me, that's it. That's the best Star Wars project. And to hear them stand up for their work and to be proud of it because they know it made a difference for fans like me and for maybe fans like you. Uh, I think that is so, so awesome. And to me, that makes this whole Kenobi show worth it. I know there's a lot of speculation right now on what the show will be any good or not um and maybe it'll be hated maybe we'll, we all won't like it but the fact that they've had this opportunity to hear 
from us, the community, how much we love them and are happy to see them again, I think is really, uh, to me, it's made it at least worth it. I, I, I love that they have a chance to to hear that from us. What did you guys think about this clip? I, it, it just warmed my heart. I mean, I could talk about it for an hour. If you missed our live stream uh, from yesterday, go check it out. Ben and I talk about it for about 30 minutes, about halfway through the stream. Uh, and let me know what you guys think down below. Um, it's so cool. Uh, I love I love this month. It's been a great Star Wars month. It's been a ton of fun to talk about it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. May is going to be a huge month for more Star Wars news, so make sure you're tuned into the channel. Until next time, guys, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you again very soon.